what's happening guys welcome back so today I have another exciting tutorial to share with you guys and I've been posting these pictures and videos on my Instagram page and a lot of people seem to enjoy them but a few people are asking me how the heck do you do it so that's why I'm here today to show you this tutorial so I'm gonna be doing two different methods one in Adobe Premiere Pro and also in Photoshop now in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to do this manually step by step it takes a little bit of time but it's not too hard but then I also created a preset that you can download which I have have right down in the description and all you would do is just import that preset into Adobe Premiere Pro drag and drop these effects and it literally takes only five seconds so uh, enough of that let's get right into this tutorial all right I'm gonna start off this tutorial doing the video version first and uh, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro and this is my clip shot for my DJI Phantom 3 Pro I'm pretty high up uh, maybe I'd guess like 200 feet or so and I'm slightly angling the gimbal down a bit not too much so what we want to do here this is going to be our base layer so um, what I want to do is duplicate this twice so I'm going to do uh, just select it left click and then control C and I'm just going to do a control V control V and then just bring these clips right on top of each other so now basically we have three layers of the same clip now you want to go to your effects panel here and type transform and uh, I'm going to put that transform effect on both the uh, third layer and also the second layer. First layer, we're not even going to be touching. Uh, so let's go to the second layer, make sure that's selected. We're going to go to scale width and make it negative 100. And we're also going to go to the third layer and uh, scale width negative 100. All right, so now we're just going to be working with the third layer. And what I want to do is just uncheck this eyeball here. And then what I'm going to do here is rotate this 90 degrees. So I'll just type that out 90 degrees and we're going to bring it all the way to the left until it's like flush with the side. So it's, uh, it's actually 1080 and then bring this down until it's right at the bottom. So we're looking at about 240. Um, so uh, that's done. That's done for now. Let's go to the second layer now. This is the second layer. So I unchecked the top layer so we only see the second one. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to rotate it, but this time we're going to do uh, negative 90 degrees on the right side. Bring it all the way to the side. Line it up perfectly. So we're looking at 2760. Type that out and then bring it up. Go to 240 perfect all right so what we're gonna work with now is layer 3 the top layer but I want to make sure that I uncheck the eyeball here so we only see layer 3 and layer 1 now make sure layer 3 is selected and we're gonna go to opacity and choose this tool here the free draw bezier and we're gonna choose the bottom left corner and then go straight up and cut it right where that video clip ends and then go straight down and then connect it up to the left and I think we're okay for now. So the next step is to just choose inverted. So there it is, that's what it looks like. So let's just scrub through a little bit and make sure it's lined up good. You'll make sure that it's lined up good if that looks pretty flush and straight, like a right angle, so that's perfect. So we're gonna uncheck layer two and check off layer three and we're gonna do the same thing on layer three. We're gonna go to opacity, just uncheck that keyframe tool just in case something happens uh, we're gonna check the free draw bezier do the same thing go to the right corner go to the left corner kinda of like a nice diagonal line and then straight down and then right in the corner and then select the inverted option and now we got that so let me just see if this looks good yep it looks like it's perfect so we can uncheck the eyeball and now you basically have that cool inception effect right in Adobe Premiere without any external tools or anything like that and it looks pretty crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the preset that I created and all you're gonna have to do is just drag and drop a few effects and then you're done. It's literally gonna take only 10 seconds to do this. So I have the same setup here. I got my base clip and I just did a control C, control V twice. So these are all the same three clips. What you wanna do is go to presets in your effects panel, right click on presets, go to import presets and this is the file you should have downloaded. I have the link down in the description if you haven't gotten that yet. And uh, just click open. Now, when we go to presets, you're gonna have this folder here, and then you're gonna have these two effects, left side vertical and right side vertical. So you kind of choose whichever one you want. Take the left side, put it on the top clip, put the right side, put it on the bottom clip, and that's all there is to it. 
is literally set up in like five or 10 seconds and it's done. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do this same method in photo format. So let's get started. I got layer one here. This is my image. I'm gonna right click it and click duplicate layer. I'm gonna click okay here. I'm gonna click that new layer and click convert to smart object. And what I'm gonna do here is just press control T. I'm gonna right click in the image, click flip horizontal, and we're gonna rotate this up uh, 90 degrees. I'm just gonna type it out because it's easier. And then what I'm gonna do is just click this and then place it all the way to the left and make sure it's perfectly lined up just like that. Now we're gonna hide that layer. We're gonna right click the first layer and do duplicate layer. We're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna right click it again, click convert to smart object, control T, right click, flip horizontal, and now we're gonna rotate it negative 90 degrees. Perfect. And now we're gonna bring it right up into that corner. Nice. So uh, here we go, that's what we got so far. So let's work with the, the top layer for now. What we're gonna do is you're gonna press P, it's gonna bring up the pen tool and you wanna make sure you have uh, paths selected. We're gonna go to the bottom left corner and then draw a line all the way across here. Make sure it's straight, uh, screwed up. We gotta control Alt Z, draw another line. Okay, that looks good. Now straight down and then connect it up and then right click and then go to make selection, click okay. Now hold down alt and then click this uh, selection right down here. This adds a new layer mask and then bam, just like that. Now we're gonna hide that layer and we're gonna go to the second layer and then we're gonna do the same thing, pen tool, go to the bottom right corner, draw it out to the top left corner, straight down, straight across, right click make selection click ok hold down alt and then click add new layer mask and that's it uh, uncheck both the eyeballs and you can see the effect just like that so if you wanted to just clean this up you can either use the brush tool match the colors up and draw it out or you can use the uh, clone stamp tool. Now what I did in my Instagram photo is I added a few clouds in here and what you could do is sort of animate this if you wanted to by adding a few clouds in here but what you would have to do is export this image first, save it as a PNG file, then bring it into Premiere and then you can overlay some clouds. You know what, let me just show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so back in Adobe Premiere, uh, so this is the image that I exported from Adobe Photoshop and I found a few images of clouds that are transparent on Google Images. So let me start off with this one here. I'm gonna put this right on top of this image. Obviously gonna scale it down a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is bring it up and maybe scale it down a little bit more. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna bring the opacity down just a tiny bit. Just uncheck this. Bring it down to maybe like, eh let's say about 70%, something around there. And what I wanna do is bring in another cloud. So I'm gonna bring this cloud up here, same exact one. And I'm gonna actually scale it down just a little bit, bring it up. And uh, you know what? Let's make it a little smaller. A little smaller and I'm gonna bring it below that layer so it's behind it. Kinda like that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go to the first frame of this cloud and I'm gonna go to position and I'm gonna just go ahead to like close to the last frame and kind of do that and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the top cloud the bigger one and I'm gonna click position and I'm also gonna click scale I'm gonna see what happens if I do this and I'm gonna go right to the end here and bring it down like that I'm gonna lag it up a little bit. And I'm gonna make it, uh, let's say 34, a little bit bigger. I don't know, let's see what happens. So that's kind of uh, kind of interesting, I guess. It makes it a little bit more alive. So once you're happy with this, if this is what you like, kind of select all these, right click and uh, select nest. And what I'm gonna do is also kind of animate the image a little bit so it pushes in and it's not like really that boring. So I'm gonna, Go to the first frame and then select scale and position. Go close to the end here and I'm gonna zoom it into about 110 and kind of bring it up a little bit. So now this is what the image looks like. 
And of course you can add other things in here. You can maybe add clouds going vertically on here and maybe even add an airplane or something, but uh, you kind of have fun with it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a big fat like. If you do that, thank you so much. And if you haven't already checked out that preset that I created, down in the description, there's a link to that, so check it out. Uh, but that's it, thanks for stopping by and I'll check you out in my next video, bye.